Since confrontation started 14 months ago between government forces and opposition protesters, more than 300 journalists say they've experienced aggression, intimidation and oppression. Women are more vulnerable. People use social media to threaten them through Facebook. You receive calls from people telling you that you're a terrorist, wishing you were dead and insulting you. A recent report by Nicaragua's Violeta Chamorro Foundation says a growing number of female journalists have been the target with aggressions and threats by state officials. The study also says authorities have defamed them in an attempt to discredit their work. Geraldine Dominguez is an Acción 10 reporter in Nicaragua. You can't avoid telling the truth because people are not stupid. People know what is going on. You can't turn a blind eye. It's a lack of responsibility as a reporter and as an independent news organization. Sociologist Maria Teresa Blandón explained that since the sociopolitical crisis started in Nicaragua, some government officials have mistreated women journalists in particular. Government officials often disrespect women journalists through gestures and openly making macho comments. We saw a case of a reporter who was asking a couple of difficult questions to Lamberto Campbell after a working session. He made this gesture and did not answer her questions. Nonetheless, some journalists such as Tirsa Sainz, director of the state radio station La Primerísima, believe there are no differences between how male and female journalists are treated in the country. Journalists in Nicaragua have had to review their work in the last year. Journalists are more biased and that incites violence. Since the political crisis started, the foundation's report says 67 journalists have left Nicaragua because of security concerns, 25 of them women. For Daliana Ocaña in Managua, Nicaragua, Cristina Caicedo-Smith, BioE News.